with a lithium on the outside. Sorry, this this is tantalite, and on the inside it looks like some silicon. Yeah, these are all indicators. It's some lithium. Yeah. It's like lithium. This is what they make batteries from. This is uh, the overburden. It's a lot of overburden, but still Lighter. strong Lighter. signs of the lithium. Yes. I'm called Elijah, the technical manager of this company. Yeah, so I'm showing you this rock, this mica. Uh, this mica, when we are getting out amblygonite, which brings out lithium. So this is the best way of seeing where amblygonite is. So this is a sister, a good indicator to show that there is lithium or amblygonite rock in, in this shaft. Mm. So when we are digging, once we reach to this extent mm. of seeing this mica, mm. we just know that 100% we have reached to the rock. <laughs> so this one is the best indicator of lithium. Okay. How, yes. how, how deep did you get this rock uh, inside? Uh, according, it, it, it depends, but right now here, mm. we are around uh, 20 feet. 20 feet? Yes. Ah. Okay. Yeah, we are around 20 feet, mm. but you can find it uh, on the top, but mostly on the top, mm. it just shows, mm. but and the color changes. Okay. Yeah, when you reach down, it comes pure than the one on the top. Uh, yes. This one contains yeah. tantalite, and uh, it has a little bit of tin. Yeah. yeah. So tantalite and tin. Yeah, but mostly it has tantalite. Okay. Yeah, this one has a lot of tantalite and a little bit of tin. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. also from the same hole for yeah. From the same hole because mm. when you're digging lithium, mm. you must it is a must to find tantalite and tin. Okay. Yeah, because they are sisters. They are sisters. They move together. together. Yeah. yeah. And then when you find the rock which shows lithium, yeah. beside you will find tantalite okay. and you will find tin at the same time. Oh. Yes. We have two shafts at the moment, and then according to the veins, there are three veins. Uh, we have around 20 workers, uh, yeah, 20 workers down. So what we get out, depending on the workers. So at the moment, we can, uh, we can bring out uh, around 20 tons, according to the rope. Out. So all of it is just the manual labor. There's no like, it is machine labor. or anything. Manual we labor. don't have any machine here. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. So here, these guys they shovel from there. Yes. Come here, from yes. here, here. Stand out from here. Some of them are inside there. Okay. They bring up to there, and then these ones bring up to here, and then others are going to go there and then bring here, and then they remove here, and then they here. Yeah. Here we have tin, tantalite, lipidolite, amblygonite, and uh, mica. mica yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. And obviously iron. Yeah, and even iron, iron on the yeah. top. Okay. Yeah. But underground, we don't have iron. Okay. Yeah. The geological survey at the moment. Hmm. This is one of the most valuable mountains containing that amboligonite rock. So because what, what would you say is the average percentage? The average, of, you know, is it three percent of now lithium within the amboligonite? Here, yeah. it is six and above. Average. The, yes, because uh, there are the veins you pick when it is six, and there are the vein when you pick it is when it is eleven. Wow. Yes. The more you have you found a vein that is 11? Yes. You have found a vein that is yes. 11? They give you, first of all, you have to get the prospective license. Okay, the PL, uh -huh. And then after, you get the exploration license. And then, then you get the location license. The mining license. Mm, yes. The ML. Okay. Yes. And then the MDL, which allows you to move. 
Okay, to now yeah, transport, yeah, to, yeah, to transport the, yeah. the minerals. Yeah. So at the moment, we are joint venture with the landlord. Okay. But we are going to lease this mountain for around 25 years. Okay. Yes. Be 25 feet wide, and lots and lots of kilometers long. It's a big vein. <laughs> 